Wow, the background music here has really changed a lot. <laughs> Sounds really cool. Hey guys, and welcome back. It's been a bit of a while since we last played sci-fi, for that I do apologise. But, there has been a brand new feature called the Aquarium. And apparently, some really... Really, like, cool sounding background music. I really like that. Okay, so, Aquarium. I've no idea how this works out. I've not looked into anything about it. We're just diving in blind, as I always like to do. So, we have the breeds, as usual. I'm not sure what it's, what it's going to entail, so I'm going to go ahead and use my usual favourite, which is the Sayanus Beefiorus, or the beefy one, as I've always called it. So, whatever this is, we'll use that one first. Let me see, available to it, we've got the Zenoplate, Radial, Rattler, and Energy Leech. That's actually a pretty nice combo, to be honest. And begin. Okay, so what does this actually mean, then? What do we get? Uh, right, so I'm in the aquarium then. And I've got a couple of levels up. So enemy settings, spawn decorate. Wait. Enemy settings, spawn decorations menu, spawn ob obstacles menu, and spawn consumables menu. Oh. Oh, wow. <laughs> so you're basically making up your own levels entirely, right? I honestly thought that the. Um, snack? Oh, okay. Yeah, I honestly thought that the aquarium was just going to be a way to like make your own little custom ciphers. And you and maybe you use those custom ciphers in like the actual campaign. I never would have thought it'd be like a straight up a its own individual um, energy. Energy, sorry. <laughs> its own individual level creator. That's quite interesting. So okay then. Local ciphers controls how many local ci ciphers are automatically spawned. Let's just ramp up to 15 then. And their sizes. Oh god. So what if I have it just set up to complete a max? Aggressiveness can be passive, alert, or fearless. Oh, wow. Have set to reactive for now, then. I've got a feeling that things are about to get crazy. Select layout. Ooh. Ooh, ooh. Wait, what now? Oh, I wonder. So, can you make your own layouts and your own levels and actually share them with other people? Place layout string. Okay. Oh, that's so cool. Right, yeah, you can make your own entire levels, I reckon. Okay, that's really cool. So a local spawn. Oh wait, is that a spawner? I <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm just watch things get like really, really bad. Let's have like a couple of invaders, sure, and a couple of friendlies. They all look like the same thing, but okay. So what happens now then? We just have a sea of different creatures. Right, interesting. And my controls are actually quite different. I think my controls may have changed since we last did this. Let's, let me go ahead then. And just change that up a little bit. I think I normally use... Oh, that's cool. So actually, that's nice. Now we're a drop-down menu as opposed to clicking through them all. That's a nice little bit of convenience there. So I think I normally use that one. Yeah, that's it. That's that's more like it. So I did set it to have like really high-level creatures, didn't I? Like really large local sifo sizes. And a much higher spawn table. So I wonder... Are we going to find anything like funky... Okay, that's a really weird looking creature over there. Interesting. We don't normally get to see those kind of looking creatures in this environment, so that's quite an interesting little change there. Otherwise though, so we've got like quite a large quantity of creatures spawning for sure. Definitely not a variety, but nothing really that different. Nothing particularly large. Which I was really expecting considering I just set up to, you know, 500 plus. A decorative eraser. Oh, that's really cool then. And obstacle eraser. Oh wow, that's okay. That's really really cool. So you can proper make up your own levels, like big time. Oh, that's so cool. So what? Can you like rotate this as well? How would you, if I wanted to, how would I go about rotating it? Uh, definitely not a WASD, not scrolling or anything like that. Control Alt Shift Tab. Oh. Oh. Okay then. Can I just like chuck on anything I want? Uh, no, I still gotta. Okay, so the cost is still a thing. That's fine. Unlimited nutrition, automatically grow new zoids, auto play, automatically move and fight. Okay. Ungrow zoids or regrow selected ones. Select layout. Oh, oh, that's really interesting. <laughs> Don't mind me, guys. Just like checking out like, literally everything to do with it. So let's go ahead then and let's have. I have both of them. I have one of those. Or one of those and then mostly these I guess 
chuck a bunch of those on so I can finally have a large cipher for the first time. Let's <laughs> have a couple of their claws. So, like, one like that, one like that. I was like, when they're kind of aiming from the front there. Uh, energy leech, that's a nice one to have. So, I may as well have, actually, mm, yeah, we'll have those there. I mean, apparently, we have no budget, so it really can look like just anything. It doesn't have to be pretty at all. So, we may as well just have a bit of everything, don't we? So, have one there. Bit of that, bit of that, maybe. I probably should look into having, uh, <laughs> you know, adding more to the actual, uh, what do you call it, structure. But I just want to see how it goes. So, yeah, it's an auto play. I'm not doing anything right now. Hands are off the keyboard. So this is just the Sypho just doing its own little thing here, kind of just spazzing out in circles a little bit. <laughs> All right, this is interesting. So I wonder then, how large, how large could you have this Sypho? Oh, dig. Oh, what's going on there then? <laughs> I think it's safe to say that my creature is um, a bit pathetic. This would be a really good way of like demoing tactics and such, or strategies, like seeing uh, what kind of build is most efficient, what, which kind of build, you know, flows the best, all that kind of stuff. Energy efficiency, all that kind of stuff. That'd actually be really, really handy. As opposed to actually in the campaign, where you kind of like, sure, you're given a limited pool. But it's still trying to like figure out the best thing on the move as opposed to here which you could just do it all in advance and plan ahead. That's cool to actually have that option. Oh god, it's moving really odd. Did I make it sideways? I think I did. <laughs> right, what else can we do then? Alien swirly, what is that? Okay, just more of the rocks then. A couple of flowers. Oh my god. Oh wait. Oh, that's how you rotate it. Okay, let's see. just hold left click. And it will just like kind of activate the ability to rotate it. Ah, oh, that's so cool. So wait, actually, what happened there then? So I actually put one on top of my sofa itself. Let me see if I put like a couple of other things on top of it. And what happens there? Can I like... Ah, oh, so you can still go through it. Right, okay, so it's not an obstacle at all then. I suppose it, it said it, it, like it explicitly states decoration. But still though, it's cool to see like how it actually works completely. Although my creature is... In the most strangest orientation. I really don't understand what it's trying to do. I think I just made my creature wrong. <laughs> oh, wow. This is interesting. Oh, wow, that's freaky looking. I really like that. So, hmm. Bunch of those things as well. I'm just trying to think, like, what kind of ideas could you use with this? Like, obviously you could just have fun, right? You could definitely just have fun, make your own levels, do whatever the hell you want. But I'm just wondering, like, is there anything special that you can do with this? I'm really, I'm really curious about that. I suppose what you could do, if you really wanted to, is to, like, set up, like, a bunch of different uh, levels to play with your friends and, like, maybe race each other. That'd be a really cool thing. In fact, ooh, I know some people who'd probably do that. Hmm, interesting. So you can definitely try racing each other in your own custom uh, builds, like, may maybe make a maze. <laughs> well, that'd be that'd be really really cruel, but you definitely could make a maze in this game. Ah, what else? What else? Just get rid of everything because I can. <laughs> oh, I do like that though. Oh, actually, oh, you can actually move around. Uh, no, you can't. You can drag it with your left click. Uh, oh no. So you kind of you kind of bound to the general location of your cipher itself, which makes sense. That does make sense. But it's interesting to see that you are, you know, kind of limited to your to your general surroundings. Oh, mate, I like that. Just casually getting rid of everything. Right, so. Is there anything else then? I wonder. So, yeah, enemy settings then. Local spawns. So, what if I just had a whole bunch of local spawns? Are they just all going to be little tiny ones? Because I want to see what a 500% local sofa size looks like. I want to see that. I'm not sure if I can. Controls how much nutrition my new, sp my new spawn stuff will get. Let's just ramp it up as well then. Meanwhile, alien tick. Oh, what is that? That's freaky. I've never, I don't think I've ever seen that before. Okay, I think these two are like, um, hold on. Yeah, I think all three of these must be, must be from a level that I've not actually seen yet. Because I've still not been able to beat the third boss. Then again, I've not played for quite a while, but still, I've still not been able to beat the third boss. Therefore, I think I may be, um, Probably spoiling myself a little bit here, actually. I don't. I haven't seen any of these alien items before. That's interesting, though. Aliens. What does that mean? Like, 
The fact that they could be alien creatures, does that allude to something later on? Could this be like a great big spoiler? I have no idea, but this is really cool though. Hmm. Energy regen. Yes, why not? Have all the energy regen everywhere. So, how does that behave? They just kind of- Oh, actually, you're like energized. Oh, okay, that's not me doing that. Oh yeah, it's still an autopilot, isn't it? <laughs> I forgot about that. Autoplay, yeah, there you go then. So go ahead and remove that. So now we're just passive for now then. Oh god, you're all like pumping me. Ah, please. Cute, wait. There we go, I can't remember what my ability was. Well, that's one way to, you know, just get a whole ton of nutrition, isn't it? Just have them all aggro up to you. That is, that was actually oddly satisfying. Just killing all of them at the same time. Oh, it grew, that one grew. Oh. Also, wait then, maybe that's how I can make them grow really large. Right, okay, I've got an idea then. I have an idea. Let's just kill them all. Can I kill them all? Uh, no, okay. In that case, that's fine. We don't need to. What I want to do then is just get them tons and tons of nutrition. It's uh, food, isn't it? I think it's food. Let's just give you guys all the nutrition. All of it. What would be actually quite nice is... I want to have a control. Oh, what the hell? Oh, that is amazing. I was just about to say it'd be really, really cool. Oh god, that ringing. Guys, I'm sorry for that ringing. <laughs> It'd be really, really cool if there was like a key badge you can use more of them at once or place multiple at the same time. Yep, yeah, there is. It's called Shift. Oh my god, that is awful. What the hold Alt? Okay, that just rotates as well then. <laughs> oh, wow, we're at it. May as well have a bunch of that as well. I, I want these guys to be really, really big. I want to see what 500% looks like. Let's go, friends. Poison pill. Oh, I've never seen that before. That's interesting. Energy regen. Movement power up. Critters. Aw, poor little critters. And let's just see. And last, of course, snacks. Let's just see what that looks like. Oh my goodness, the lag. Oh my god. Mistakes were made. <laughs> oh my god. I, I guess I should have realised that would happen. I should not see that coming. Wow. Well, they're definitely evolving. They're definitely getting big, aren't they? They're, they're getting big. Oh, they're, they're attacking me. Oi, mate, please. Mate, I made you. Don't fight me. Mate, I made you. Oh god. <laughs> they're rebelling. <laughs> they're revolting. <laughs> Oh, that's cool though, I like that. Oh, it froze. Did I just crash the game? It's actually frozen. Oh. <laughs> I mean, really now, that's, that's not surprising that happened. Of course I'd crash it. <laughs> that's really cool though, I like that a lot. Right, I'm going to think about this actually. Guys, let me know if like there's anything you want to see in this. I'm really happy to try it out. That's, that aquarium it's got potential you know except for doing what i just did then that was a really silly idea but it was worth it it was completely worth it yeah if you have any ideas let me know or if you just want to like look into like i don't know level design i'd be up for it so guys thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed it and i will see you all next time cheers